Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Sark Souls Prepare to Dylon Edition. Uh, I'm your Dylon, I think. I'm pretty sure. Let me fix my microphone. Oh, shit. Farts. Hey, we got a little stinker. That's not the one we're playing as. And Dylorian. Good times. Get that elite, I, elite knight. I think that's it. Armor set. It's been a bit. Anyway. Uh, yeah, 17 hours in, I leave the game on a lot. I'm sorry. Like, overnight, it's the worst. And it just goes and goes. Okay, so. I did a little bit of grinding off camera. I, uh, immediately thought that I was gonna have a fast roll for some reason with this heavy-ass armor. Evidently not. <laughs> uh, let's look at the stats. So, level 88. So, I didn't level up that much, but... Yeah, vitality, that didn't change. Endurance, I think, might have gone up a little bit. But mainly, I, I increased my faith, intelligence... Dexterity. I just, I kind of, I just leveled out the, uh, the board a little bit. Did I? I can't remember. I've been playing my casual playthrough as well. I told myself that I did. Oh, I did weapons. That was the thing. Okay, so stats may have gone up. Don't quote me on that. But weapons definitely did. And I rearranged them a little bit too. So, Crescent Axe still five. Grant, I think I upped to fives. So, I think it was four before. And I, I just went through and just upgraded a couple weapons. Broken Straight Sword. You got to get that, that good bonus, you know. Flame Bears. Just some random things. Um, Black Knight Greatsword was probably the best out of the options. Let's see here. Uh, so we got 585, and then the Abyss Greatsword. Ha 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 ha. Uh, 345. So this is, but it's a lot faster, that's the thing. So let's just, real quick demonstration. So we got bam, bam. So that's the quickest you can do a two-hit combo. R2 is like a thrust, but it's slow as hell, and it's like an upward thrust, so usually they get, uh, launched. And then we got one, two. I think that's slightly faster than the, the one-handed. And then we got the big shebang there, which is a pretty good one. It's good for hallways, or if it's, it's good for if someone's running at you. So I like that one a lot. The moveset's pretty sweet. Uh, Grant is obviously slow, but it's just, a, it's just a club. So it makes sense. This one, a little bit faster. Not that much. Uh, but it uses less stamina per hit. We got the R2, which is a spin. It's a little too fast and a little too short range. I haven't really got too much use out of it. I've, I'm pretty new to this weapon because I, uh, th the first time I played the DLC, uh, I don't, e I, I don't think I have this weapon. I think I gave his soul away or something. But I beat, I beat, uh, that, and that's the R2 for two-handed, two-handed R2 words. Uh, I beat the DLC in my casual run. Um, I will still probably be surprised at certain things because I don't think I did everything. Uh, and I'm also a baby, so if the dragon comes up and scares me, now that I said it, I will remember, but if the dragon comes up and scares me, I won't be as scared, hopefully. Uh, but real quick, just to compare this to the, the Abyss Great Sword, to the, uh, little, little Crescent Axe. <sighs> where's my math? 481 versus, ba, 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 versus 345, and then this 595, so obviously this is a lot stronger, so I think I'm gonna use this for a while. Let's, we'll see how it goes. Um, I've been playing a lot, again, in the casual run, actually, because I beat it. I was going to do New Game Plus and use the, the katanas, do like a Zoro run, basically, with the the washing pole and the other few. Um, Iaito and, oh, don't tell me, Uchi Katana. I think that's it. Uh, but then I was like, you know what? So Most of the fun is starting a new build from scratch and kind of figuring out where to get everything and i don't know just kind of starting fresh so i i ended up just starting over i i immediately ran to the uh the catacombs and part of me thought it was a huge mistake because i got stuck down there where the rolling pins were the bone wheels and uh we we've gone there right i'm pretty sure we have i hope we have oh i wanted to use the regular great sword as well but what am i picking up that's not sticking oh, it's probably a large titanite or something um yeah, when, when you're maxed out, you just fucking drop it back on the ground. It's really annoying. Uh, what was I saying? Blah, 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 blah. I wanted to use the greatsword. That was irrelevant. Man, I got the worst memory in the world, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if I can see if I can do one of these. Bam! Oh, God. He's buffed. Leave me alone. Wow, one hit kill, though. I like it. Nope. Nope. Oh, God. Oh, God. What have I done? Boosh. Okay. So I was talking about my, my other casual run. 
So, oh God, fucking Titanite shards everywhere. I can't, I can't pick anything up. It's so sad. Um, I ran to the catacombs, got stuck where, where the, the, the bone wheels were, and then I beat Pinwheel with a level one character, which was insane. And I picked up the, uh, the Great Scythe, which I can't remember if we have it. I will right, we'll do a quick, a quick search. Da -da 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 you guys have probably seen it. I'm just fucking blind. So many stone. Oh, I got a stone great axe to level four as well. It was twinkling. I didn't even notice. So I just wasted all that. I was really sad. But uh, one of the common enemies dropped twinkling titanite. So we'll survive if we need it. Also, blacksmith giant hammer. I didn't know this was a lightning weapon. I was like, man, only 120. Why is it better than everything I have? Because it has fucking 200 lightning damage. That's insane. That's so good. Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, great type. So. I leveled it up. It just takes normal. It's just a normal weapon. So it just takes Titanite. Um, but I leveled it up to five and then did Divine afterwards. Not through the catacombs. This is after. But uh, I, I used the level one Great Scythe and fucking beat Pinwheel. I know Pinwheel is one of like the easiest bosses. Like I'm pretty sure I beat it on stream blind my first playthrough. I was not blind. Uh, it was just the first time I played it. Um, I got to learn how to clarify. Don't buff them. They don't need to be buffed, you bastard, man. Um, also, floating book. All right. Gravity. <laughs> yes. Yes. Just the... Yes, gravity. Do it. Okay. Anyway. What are we talking about? Oh, my God. This camera's fighting me. Uh, Yeah. Pinwheel. Yeah, he's super easy, I know. But, like, I don't know. I was just super hyped about it. I've never I've never done so well um, and, and not expected to. Like, I didn't think I was going to beat him. I was just trying to find my way fucking out. And I thought there was a shortcut there, but it turns out the shortcut just led me back into the fucking catacombs. So yeah, it was a pain in the ass. Um, but eventually, I beat a, uh, I beat all the skeletons. I beat all the necromancers that were in my way that were impeding my progress. Can I? Let's give this a go. Nope. No. Okay. I thought maybe it would go through. I got really excited. Uh, also, another funny thing. Funny, uh, like funny. Ha ha. Oh, I have the slumbering ring, don't I? Oh, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, <laughs> going right for my brain hole, my brain candy, get out of here, get your face out of my face, okay, uh, yeah, another funny thing, remember how I was talking about how I was like, maybe I, maybe I'll put, or maybe I won't put DS Fix on, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh, okay, I died anyway, that's okay, that's okay, I was talking, it's all good. I don't even remember what I'm doing, I'll be honest. Oh, yeah, last episode, we were... Uh, sorry, I'm so sporadic right now. I, I just had a bunch of coffee. I'm gonna have some more. I, uh... Violet, don't eat the humidifier. It's just water. We're all dry up in here. Um... Jesus Christ, I forgot what I was saying again. It's insane. Oh, yeah, DS fix. So... <laughs> and then I choked and died. <coughs> I need a DS fix. If the DS stands for Dylan Saramago, which is me. What a weird name I have. Anyway, uh, DS fix. Yeah, I uh, I already have it. I already have it. My computer just sucks, and I think the randomizer is screwing with the game very slightly. But it's a risk I'm willing to take because losing a few frames honestly just means more time to, to, uh, to dodge things, you know? <laughs> That's just how it is. Okay. I'm sick of these bitches. Sick of them. Get out of here. I want to deal with you. <laughs> this is going to go very poorly. <laughs> I'll try my best, though. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Mine. Go. Oh, why did you have to hit me at the same time as I hit you? Heal. Heal. Okay. One thing I did, because we were trapped in the, in the archives in the prison cell, and we got out, and we did all that. All those shenanigans. We talked to Logan and such. I escaped, but I just escaped just enough to where I could... Uh, Black Flame Crystal Shield. Dope. Uh, ju oh, fuck. Just enough. Wow, I just dodged that. To where I could go and upgrade all my shit. Oh, I'm going to die here. I'm going to die here, boys. Boys and girls. And everyone in between. And around. Hey. Huh. Okay, I did it. <laughs> it's so slow. It's scary. It's scary for me. Um, 
uh, yeah, man, I lose my train of thought so easily. I'm not a smart person. That's kind of the thing. So yeah, we escaped the archives uh, just enough to where I could upgrade all my equipment, and then I dipped. I left as soon as I could. I left all the items. I left all the chests behind, even though I so, so, so desperately craved the satisfaction of picking up a random randomly generated item. Do not hit me with that arrow. I refuse. Oh, no. Okay. I refused again. You guys saw it. Okay. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Also, these goddamn arrows curve. Such bullshit. It makes me so angry. But also, I love this game. So, like, I really genuinely don't care at the end of the day. You first. I let the other ones come to me. Oh, hello. Ooh, the lighting changed. I love it out here. You die now. Okay. Not nice. Also, completely unrelated. I was just thinking, like, I should kick him. And then I was like, no, if I kick him, I'm not going to do any damage. Hopefully, they don't follow me. But if we had the lava ring, I forget what it's called now. Uh, I do not have it. Not the one that improves your defense. Nope. Yeah, not the flame plate ring. The uh, the other one. The one that Ceaseless Discharge was given by Quelana. We will get there. Uh, Quelana by his sisters. They made it for him, I think. But again, we'll get there. Uh, if you kick with it on... Then they fucking uh, get fire damage. Isn't that sick? Fire kick? Fire feet? I go full Sonic the Hedgehog in Sonic Adventure Battle 2. I think he had a fire spin or some, some shit like that. I don't know. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm getting very disappointed by the fact that I cannot friggin' pick anything up. So, But I have to realize that it's also garbage. That's why. Let's see how this goes. Please kill him. It didn't, but it did quite a bit. Die, please. Oh, thank you. Give me something good. Please. Something good. Yeah, well. Could have been worse, I guess. Could have been nothing. Right? And technically that's worse. We don't want nothing. Uh, now we do have lots and lots. Of, and this is from me trying to escape. Ignore that. Uh, we do have lots and lots of uh, different upgrade materials. So I will be kind of blasting um, different weapons out uh, in between. Uh, sessions. I, I say sessions because obviously I'm not going to spend my precious, precious recording time friggin' upgrading weapons like a doofus. Unless I'm like in the middle of the episode and I'm like, hey, let's do this. This will be fun. And I'm talking about it, but I'm not going to be like, yeah, this is a this will be a blast mid recording while I'm like all stressed out, full of coffee. It's a fun process. Genuinely, I do enjoy doing this. <laughs> I'm making it sound so bad. Um, I love it, but Sometimes it takes a lot of energy out of you, you know? And you just got to relax. Just got to relax and just grind a bit. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think we've gone through everything we really need to up there. So now we're going to go down that way, and there is a bonfire there. So we're going to give it a little kiss. Just a little one. That's it. And once we do that, we're going to have another bonfire that we can warp to if dead. Isn't that lovely? Nope, nope, nope. You see? You see how fast the tables turn? It's because I don't have enough coffee, I bet. That's why. I should really be drinking water as well. Okay, we're going to blast through this again. No Black Knight Sword because it's too heavy for me. We're going to throw on the Abyss Great Sword. Even though it's not much faster. Just because it looks like it's faster. Maybe that'll make me feel better about myself. <laughs> Plus, if I do the two-handed R2, we do a flip. Like, fuck yeah. Who wouldn't want that? There's lots of cool weapons that we have, though. And I'm really excited to just, like, kind of fuck around with some of them. Moonlight Greatsword I was so excited to use as well. Uh, but every time I went to go use it, I was reminded, oh, no, I don't have good intelligence in this playthrough. I only have good intelligence in the... Well, 18 is not that bad. But I only have good intelligence in my casual run. And then I couldn't find it. I don't know where to get it from. <laughs> I don't know if it's from, like, a soul or something. And you have to, like, uh, transpose it. I, I guess you don't really call it that in this in this game. That's more of a Dark Souls 3 thing. But, like, fudge, man. Like zoinks. <laughs> Scoob. All right. We run. We run. We duke. <laughs> duke. Duke's archives. Ow! My face! We juke. We jive. We look alive. 
Eh. Oh god. I'm gonna die right now. I didn't. I'm shocked. Seriously shocked. Ignore my glitch. It's because I'm promised full health. <laughs> I don't even have that much health to not gain back. Like, I probably would have been left with the exact same amount at the end of the day. If I just used a Estus Flask. But for those that don't know, the little glitchy glitch that I did, I did not lose anything. Except for my sanity just now when I got killed. Uh, I didn't lose the Firekeeper Soul, I just did a little a little menu manipulation. It's a beautiful day out today. It's like, uh, it's, on my, it's my day off. It's like 5pm. I usually say that at the beginning of the episode. Um, but it's just it's nice light snow. It's uh, got my humidifier going. It's adding some ambiance. The cats are chilling. Well, actually, let me see one cat. Okay, I see two cats. Chester is in his bed. Where's Buggy? Buggy. I'm scared if I call him now, he's gonna, he's gonna come out and he's gonna like want attention. And I'm just not down for that right now. <laughs> it's just not the time. And uh, some of you guys were saying in the comments section below that uh, you do prefer 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 the shorter episodes. Now I just want to leave it up to you guys. This episode will just be as long as it has to be until we get some progress. Uh, but I'll leave it up to you guys. If you would like me to do kind of one section per episode, like I was originally planning, or what took over afterwards, and and you've probably seen based on the thumbnails and the actual episodes, that some episodes are in fact returning to those areas and i put them in the thumbnails as kind of like the focal point of the episode um but back to the original point would you guys like just shorter episodes and just kind of screw it like if if it leaves on a cl cliffhanger because i'm fuck if i'm slow um then we do that uh or would you rather me do kind of as long as i can for one section until i'm like kind of halted with progress and then i can continue off camera like just kind of make it more of a, a cinematic experience and less of a, a let's play, if you will. More of a... This weapon is also not doing it for me, so I'm just going to go back to this. This is slower, but man. It kills him. <laughs> Stop. Stop being so speedy. I hate it. Okay, anyway. Put in the comments. Do you want the 20-minute episodes? Do you like it when... Uh, if we don't make any progress, or if, like, last episode where I fucked around for way too long... Um, if I extend the episode a little bit, just to have a little bit more substance to it, like, just let me know what you guys prefer. I would, I would really appreciate it. Uh, we're going the wrong way. Oh, this way is fine. Heal, don't get shot. Heal, don't get shot. Cool. But yeah, cause last episode I did like 35 minutes or something because man, we just like, I was dicking around for so long at the beginning, just dying over and over. And I just wasn't getting it that, uh, I just wasn't getting it that my armor was a part of the issue and my skills. I had to like, I had to get good in both facets of my life. Hello there. I can't see anything. I don't know what's happening. But yeah, I think the biggest accomplishment this episode was us realizing that my computer is just pure, pure, pure poo. And that's why nothing is working properly. Is there a man? There is. Okay. So who is, who's scarier? Hello. Who's scarier, the uh, sorcerer over there or the, the bow-wielding bow bowman? I think the sorcerer is scarier, so we're going to fuck with him first. Oh, he's facing the other way. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You're, you're a lovely man. Oh, hello, another one. Can I dodge you? Yes, I can. What? what? Oh, not now. Yeah! Look at us doing things. I don't think they respond to. Did I call them sorcerers? They're called channelers. I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm talking about. I promise. Anybody chasing me? Nope, 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 nope. All right. Boosh. Let's see what I get. Sorcery repair demon's great hammer. All right. Uh, now, we picked up an item before, and I completely ignored it. I think it was a slab of some kind. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, yeah, right of kindling. I'm so excited about that. Wow, we just got all the keys, don't we? Extra key, extra key, 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 key. They all look the same. Oh, these are the same. It's just depending on where you come from, I guess. Ah, whatever. White Titanite. That, man, that's a lot of Titanite chunks. I really want an occult weapon at some point, so I'm going to figure out how to do that. What the fuck did I get? What am I looking for? Oh, yeah. The weapon. 
Come on, Demon's Great Hammer. So we have Demon's Great Axe. This is from a while ago, but this is from the Tauros Demon. Um, just because we're kind of doing everything at once here. Card from the bones of fellow demons wielded by the lesser Tauros Demons, which, like the one that we fought uh, on the tower uh, in the f one of the first few episodes, that one counts. They're all lesser because compared to uh, other demons that exist, like there's a giant centipede demon, there's lots of bosses down in the, the chaos area. Uh, this axe is imbued with no special power, but can merely beat, merrily, sorry, beat foes to a pulp, providing you have the strength to wield it, which uh, 46 is is pretty strengthful. So that kind of that kind of checks out. And then we've got a great hammer here as well. Wheel. Uh, <laughs> demon weapon built from the stone arch trees used by lesser demons at North Undead Asylum. So this is what we would have got if we beat the uh, Asylum Demon our first time through. But you need 46 strength to wield it so you're not using that shit for a long time unless you got glitches uh <laughs> or hacks or cheats cheat engine maybe this hammer is imbued with no special power oh same thing same exact thing anyway very cool but yeah that all comes from um the daemons down south uh or north i guess for in undead asylum's case but it's kind of funny how these two which are wielded by very prominent demon figures uh have no special powers they require a lot of strength but this over here, this demon spear, which requires a little bit of dexterity. It's a smaller weapon, so it makes sense. Pretty crude looking still. But carved from the bones of fellow demons, wielded by the slim, lesser batwing demons. So still carved from the bones of demons, carved from things. They're pretty crude weapons. Uh, this weapon, or sorry, the weapon of the chaos demons wandering Anor Londo are different from those of other chaos demons and are imbued with lightning. So because they're in Anor Londo, I don't think they uh, continue to roam about once you've uh, defeated or kind of uh, broken the illusion that Gwendolyn put in place which we will go through I actually know how to find her now I, I, I had to look it up I, it was very sad but I've done it before just so long ago so we, we will be doing that at some point um, but once you've beat or broken that illusion the lesser batwing demons no longer show up so it's kind of like oh uh, they were on the side of Gwen and Guinevere slash Gwendolyn um, were they actually there at some point or were they just illusions the whole time? So it's just kind of another interesting little tidbit you can think about. Um, but it's very clear that they are different from, or on a different side uh, than the the regular Chaos Demons that we see um, jiving around in the actual like Lost Isolith and stuff like that. Uh, there is a chest there that I, I'm actually not that sure how to get. We might be able to jump off the other side, maybe, to try going around. I kind of want to finish off on that note. Um, oh, there's another boy here. Oh, why didn't you tell me you were here, little boy? Are you lost? Oh, you're dead now, thankfully. 605 damage. Jesus Christ. That means they have a lot of health to show that actual number. I think. I'm pretty darn sure. Uh, okay, I think we have to go up. Up and around. And then we'll see if we can't get that item without dying. Without flattening. Uh, Wait a second. How the hell am I supposed to get there? That You can't go from there. Oh, I can go from the outside. There you go. Doop. Hopefully from that way, like that, that light area and around. Whoa, it's making me dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> throw up off the side Blah. over here too Blah. okay hello there <laughs> you're uh in kind of an awkward spot there and i can't hit you with anything that i have do you know that die 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 he's it's going right for his head every time they're all just getting stuck right in his face and i'm Honestly, living for it. I know we don't have to do this, but it's the end of the episode. Like, what the hell else am I supposed to do? If I was smart, I would use this as the uh, the goodbye screen instead of the wave. Oh, okay, I did it. Ha-ha! Fall to your death. Fool! All right. Yeah, no, all the way down. Oh, there's some, there's some things here. There's a few rooms to go through. But... I guess we'll leave it off, excuse me, or end it off here because, thankfully, that bonfire we were going for <laughs> and died very quickly 
imminent rear. Are you are you saying something about my butt? That I have a big butt? Anyway, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my ramble and my my uh, trek through the Duke's archives. I really, before I start the next episode, I think I'm going to try to find a way to get down onto that. <clears throat> and we'll, we'll start off with getting that item. Uh, if I can't, then fuck. Never mind. Shit. Bye-bye. Oh, so ugly. I love it.